Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penge and welcome to Market Tycoon. It's another tycoon game and I saw it and could not resist. The chance to run a little shop and stack the shelves and stuff and presumably mop the floors and everything. No, I couldn't resist that, so here we go. We're going to have a go at this. This looks like a lot of fun. Early access game, it's on Steam, it's being designed by Protection Games. At the moment, it's not a full sort of working release. As you can see, it's 1.1.23 down here. So there are two supermarkets that we can do at the moment, which I believe from looking online are a big one and a small one. So we'll start at the small one probably. And there's a 90 items. We can have 90 items we can stack the shelves with. They're adding a story mode. And from what I can tell, they seem to be fairly receptive to sort of people's feedback and opinions and whatever and keeping people up to date with what's going on. So that's quite a good sign for an early access game. So, yeah, wow, lots of flower. Crikey, flower among us. Okay, so there's no tutorial, it seems. So let's just start a new game and presumably the tutorial will be in there, I guess. So here we go. New game. Ah, right, okay. Stories in development. Sandbox mode. Oh, this could be a lot of fun if it's sandboxy. Here we go. Market select. So we get a city market, which is 10 by 10, and it's 800. So it's $800 a month. The electricity price is 0.15 kilowatts an hour. Is that right? I don't really know. And the population density. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad this is here. This will be very useful. 33 people per kilometer squared and 12 per mile squared. I mean, is that good? I don't know. Is that good? I'm in a city, so presumably it should be fairly high. What's the other one then? A supermarket. Oh, my God. It's massive. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that straight off. So 24 by 24. So it's significantly bigger than the other one. 1900 a month the electrics more and there's more population density yes presumably because it's a bigger thing in the somewhere better i don't really know yeah we're gonna go with this one we are gonna go with city we're gonna go with a nice small 10 by 10 little grid we should give that a go so 800 a month let me write that down because this is kind of important if i'm spending loads of money i'll go yay and we get to the end of the month and i'll have three dollars or something and then i'll obviously i'll go bankrupt so that wouldn't be very good so there we go 800 dollars a month Let's give this a go then. Let's see. Let us see how badly we can run a supermarket. Here we go. Let's play. Aha! Welcome to Market Tycoon. Do you want to learn the basics of Market Tycoon? I rather think I do. Yes, please. Navigation. Uh, navigating. There's two ways. And I get move your mouse to the edge of the screen, or you. Oh, look! It gives a little tick if you do the right thing. There we go. That's good. Learn how to rotate the screen. It's very easy. Two ways. Hold the middle mouse button, okay, or hold the right mouse button. Oh, well, this is easy. Is this all I need to do? Because I'm ace at this. Oh, I've zoomed out inadvertently without even thinking about it. Click the plus button to zoom in, or the minus button to zoom out. Minus, minus. Oh, plus doesn't actually, plus doesn't zoom in. Oh, the other one does. Perfect. Let's add some objects first. Let's add a cashier. Click the button down below. Okay, fine, I can do that. Now choose a cashier and click the buy button. Pay attention to the power consumption. Okay. Are they different types of cashier desk, are they? Is that what that is? Cashiers. So I can't click on anything else. So presumably, yes, these are cashier desks. So that one's 300. Looks like a desk with a little kind of electronic till thing on it. That thing looks a little bit more like one you would find in a big supermarket with a conveyor and stuff. Oh, God, that's... Okay, that's half my money. I can't afford that. Oh, my goodness. Right, they're really expensive. That's $500. Now, I don't know what the advantage of these is. What is the advantage of having one that's 500 opposed to 300? It uses more power. Does it make them do things quicker? Like, do they process things quicker? Do they the, the, the checkout person work better with one of those? And that's just... Okay, that's just too expensive. Well, I don't see any reason at the minute. We can always upgrade to that if we have to. Let's just go for a basic one. Yeah, let's just go for a nice basic thing. You can rotate the cashier using the control and alt keys. Oh, so I can. Lovely. Make sure you leave a space for people to stand in queue. Okay, uh, is where's the door then? Where where's the doors? So the doors are there. Okay, that's fine. So if I ah okay, so the cashier is gonna be behind the thing. So the green bit is where the 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 people are gonna stand. We don't want them queuing in front of the door, do we? Ideally, we don't really want them doing that. How about there? Look. So you get your stuff. So the person's gonna have their back to the door. But that means that if there is a queue, the queue can go sort of down here, not get in anyone's way. Yeah, let's do that. Let's tuck it into... Oh, I know what we could do. 
Oh, is that naughty? Could you do that and then stick sweets and stuff down there so they might buy some sweets while they're in the aisle? Is that is that a bad practice? I don't think it. I don't think it's bad, is it? That's fine. Uh, okay, let's put you there then. Is that is that going to make sense? If we put him there, whoever the cashier person is, so people near the door, so they can make their purchases and then they can just get out. Yeah, whatever. Let's try it. There we go. Let's hire an employee. First, click the search for employees button. This will cost fifty dollars. Oh. Well, cheers. All right. Well, let's search for employees then. Token waiting time. No, no, no reason why this is happening. Okay. Ah, okay. Now let's hire an employee. Look for someone you like. Look for someone I like. Do you want to need to ask them about their retail experience or any kind of knowledge of selling anything? Or, you know, if they can identify the difference between a pumpkin and a strawberry or something. No, literally just, literally just pick someone you like. Okay. Uh, I don't know how you say that. Marquis? Mar Marquis? 35 is male. I gathered that is speed six. Right. I imagine all it is is this. Speed six is going to be an important thing. Speed eight. Sonako. Oh my god. 1,172 months. I don't think I need you. Uh, Emily uh, is speed seven. You're speed six. So Phil. How much is the other guy? He's speed six, but he's 770. Whereas he's speed six and he's 810. Okay, 770 months seems quite a lot of money. Can we hire again? I'd quite gladly have someone with slightly less speed. I don't think we need people. I'm not going to have millions of people in, am I? There you go, speed. Oh, hang on. Now you've gone from one extreme to the other. This guy's got food all down his shirt. I'm not hiring him. Jason, you... You're, speed 5, 650. Well, that's still quite expensive. 770 or 1,000. Oh, bloody hell. Do you know what? I... I don't want Jason. I don't like the fact that he looks like he can't eat properly. You. It's only $150 a month more. $150 a month more. We'll get Jason and his, <laughs> his curiously broad shoulders and his slightly murderous stare. We'll have you. Hello, Jason. Yes, we'll hire you. Oh, you're there already. Placing a shelf. Okay, now let's place a rack in our market. Click the button. Jolly good. Click the racks tab. Oh, racks. Choose a rack you like. <laughs> God. Yes, okay. I, I am a fan of racks. Some racks have more than one variant and some also have multiple colours. Well, I never. Uh, okay. Is there any difference? Does any? Does this have any bearing on anything? Well, that looks like quite a good rack to go in the corner, doesn't it? They look quite big. They've got lots of shelves. One, two, three, four shelves on those. So can I get one of those? Or what's the... Like, what is the difference? Oh, can I change the colours? Oh, I can change the colours of the racks. Yes. Okay, we're going to have the gaudiest, most monstrous looking shop in the world. There we go. Purple. Got a purple. No, lurid. Let's make it lurid. So, like a nice lurid sort of neon pink rack. I, yeah, I don't know what the difference is between these racks. Like, why? That's got one, two, three, four. That's got five shelves on it. That's got one, two, three, four. Ah, it's got an extra shelf. Okay, well that seems to make sense. Let's buy one of those then. And let's put it in the corner. Yes. Okay, so I can rotate it round. Right, okie doke. Right, well let's put it in the corner then. Just there. Right, let's add an item. So I've got the gaudy shelf in place. Let's add an item. Okie doke. Items menu. Oh my god, there's so many items. <laughs> Is that the scroll bar for it? Oh wow, is this all of the 90 items? I get them all at once. Select an item you like. <laughs> I like most of these things. But that's a lie. I don't like avocados. I think avocados are inherently wrong. I don't know what they are. Why do they even exist? Notice some items has more than one price. What that means is that this item can be in multiple quantities. Choose your item wisely. Some items are more important than others. It can be very challenging at the beginning. Popularity will get more accurate as time passes by. But be aware that just because an item has a... I can't scroll. <laughs> Oh, good. Can I pause time? Oh, I can. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, that's good, because it's going to get to a point where I'm going to have to pay my rent and I'm not going to be sold anything. I like that, then. Be aware that just because an item has a... Uh, uh, you cannot find out anymore. So, all these items. Pick what I like so you can filter through them all, can you? Okie doke. You can sort them out. You can figure out what goes... Ah, shelf life. If it's on a regular, a regular rack, like I've just put in, an apple would last three weeks. If it was refrigerated, it would last one and a half months and you cannot freeze, presumably. Imagine that's freezing. You can't freeze apples because that would just be stupid. So you don't want to do that. Okay, condiments. 
Let's have things like this on my shelf. Ketchup, yes, this, this is good. Acceptable shelves. Ketchup can go on there. It can go on the big shelves. Okay, fine. Okay, let's get some ketchup. This is this is important. Ketchup is very important. Okay, to place. Oh look, there's loads of them. Big big sort of job lot of ketchup. To place the item on the shelf, simply hover over the shelf you want to place the item in. Items of multiple quantities will automatically change to the preferred quantity based on the shelf. Okay, so they just pop onto the shelf. Okay, fine. I, uh, you can change the quantity manually by pressing the left and right arrow keys. Can I do that if available? Uh, okay. Left click will place the item while right click will fill the whole rack. Oh crikey, okay, right. So I don't really want like 400 bottles of ketchup or whatever. So I just need to click on it and it puts it on there, does it? Okay, so what if I want ketchup just there, say? Press escape when you're done. You could also restock items the same way or click the rack and click the restock button okay well let's put some ketchup on okay so now there's some ketchup on a shelf you can check your financial status and take bank loans or upgrade your market by clicking on your cash what do you mean upgrade your market okay so so far we've spent six hundred dollars that's presumably on uh i don't know what on oh building the cashier desk the shelves that thing and then hiring that guy i suppose uh, okay, that's that's not the most useful thing right now, is it? That's the bank, is it? So we can go and take out a bank loan. Oh my god. Hello, I'd like half a million dollars, please. And you're allowed that. You'd pay about 93. <laughs> I don't think that would work. Okay, hang on. Where was the upgrade thing? Don't you do that to me. Oh, it's done. Uh, add more items. No customers would want to come to your market for just, just for a few items. More item variety equals more customers. Yes, the rest is common sense. So if any questions or bug report blah 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 right okay finish so how do i upgrade then what's the up is that upgrade market settings ah right okay oh no i've not no no i've not got one of those that's not mine also i don't know whether that means it's open or closed open or closed market i'm gonna leave that as it is i assume the market is open even the close is lit up it seems even though that's oh i don't know what that means does that mean it's open or closed I would say that that means the market is closed. I say that means the market is open because presumably while I'm building it, it's not going to want it to be open. Okay, so let's click. That's very confusing. You have to click the opposite one. So if I click close now, it can't do it. So if I click open, is that, that's closed now. The market's shut, I would assume. Right, I'm going to guess that it's closed because close is the big red circle. That's lit up and the open is grayed out. So that's what I assume. Right. Upgrade. If you want to upgrade, current market setup will be lost and you'll not be able to return. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, fine. So it's not upgrading it with another floor or with better walls or whatever. It literally is changing the whole thing. Okay, fine. We don't want to do that. Oh, my God. So now what? What do we... Do we just get to stock that shelf with loads of lovely items? Oh, yes. Okay. Well, what else can we put there? Mayonnaise. That's... Ve hang on. Hang on. What was the shelf life of mayonnaise? One month. No, we want... We want long lasting things in that corner right hot sauce that's clearly very important oh yes mustard yes this is like table sauces jam Do you want jam i don't want to want that on there vegetable oil oh that's quite important i would say vegetable oil is very important that can go you don't get many of those do you okay two lots of vegetable oil yes okay good now what do we do okay what items do we want what items do we want that's a kind of long lasting condiment thing mustard sauce oil ketchup kind of stuff that lasts a long time so condiments generally last a bit we've got three types of jam i'd quite like to put those on what's under others apple juice bacon bread butter right we're gonna need a freezer by the look of it because a lot of these things seem to require a freezer like apple juice goes well in a freezer uh, cream cheese, eggs. Eggs in a freezer? Do you need to put eggs? Not in a freezer, in a fridge? Do you need eggs in a fridge? Really? We don't do that here in the UK. I assume this is all American based because in dollars. We don't put generally, not in the supermarket, eggs aren't normally found in the fridge. Okay. Fruit punch and drinks and things. Okay, so the drinks will last longer and milk, actually milk. Yes, we need a fridge. So how do I go about doing a fridge? Fridges, there we go. Okay, that does not look like a fridge to me. That does not look like a fridge. That's very expensive. That is a very expensive fridge. Okay, let's buy that. That, oh, hang on a minute, what's this? So that's 400, 
400 or 700. Hang on, how many shelves has that got? That's got one, two, three big shelves. That's got, they look a bit wonky. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, four shelves. That's got four shelves. So I think we go for that. I think we buy this for 900. So it's a big outlay, but I think once it's in, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, so let's buy that. So if we put that at the back in the corner, I oh know that's where the queue is going to go, isn't it? Okay, okay. Let's not put that there. We could put another couple of those, sh uh, yeah, those shelves in. So let's put another couple of those big shelves in. So let's put that there. We want to kind of keep it, at the, the queue can form sort of there along that way. So let's put it, oh, I don't know where to put this thing. I'm going to put it there. And then we're going to stick another one of those big gaudy shelves in next to it. So a rack, one of those. Uh, yes, and just there. So right, what can we put in here then? In the fridge, what can we put? Milk. Milk is quite an important thing, I think. So we've got several shelves. Well, hang on a minute. Let's put milk on the bottom. This item doesn't fit here. Try a different place. Really? Hang on, that's a that's a fridge. That's as, as fridgy as a fridge can be. Seven days in the fridge. That's a that was a fridge, wasn't it? Hang on, what? Fridge. That's a fridge. I just paid nine hundred dollars for a fridge. Let me use the bloody thing, please. Okay. Oh no, that's entirely the wrong button. Do I do what do I do now then? Okay, I come out of that. Right, hang on. Let's try again. Milk. Milk. Oh, oh, I see. Isn't it? It literally cannot fit on the shelf. It is too big. I see. Not it doesn't fit because of the game parameters. It fit doesn't fit because the milk sticks to the top of the shelf. Ah ha ha. Right. Okay. Okay, so we've got a load of milk. That's good. I thought to shut the door just then in the geek cup because the bin men are doing their rounds and they appear to be driving the world's noisiest lorry thing. Right, Marge. That lasts four months. Let's get some margarine. So that's good. It's a bit of that. What else can we have? Oh, God. Oh, I love this. What about butter? Is there any butter anywhere? Butter, yes. Let's put that there. So margarine and butter. What else needs to go in the fridge? Oh, look, can you do it so it shows what goes in the fridge? All these things can go in the fridge. Oh, this is this is glorious. Oh, I like this. Yogurt. Yes, we'll have some yogurt. That's very lovely. Uh, water bottles. They go in the fridge. Strawberry milk, tomato. All the fruit and veg can go in fridges. That obviously makes sense. Hot dogs. It's okay. Ham. Right, yes. There we go. Let's get some ham. Let's get some ham. Nice ham at the bottom. Should we get two lots of ham? Eggs. Let's put some egg, eggs in. Nice eggy eggs next to the ham. So you can have eggs and ham. And what else? Cream cheese. Is, does anyone really, really want to eat cream cheese? Bacon. Bacon. Yes. Oh my god. Bacon is monstrously bloody expensive. That would have been nice to know. Um, We need... Something to put like fruit and veg and stuff in. What looks good for fruit and veg? A rat. How much are freezers? Oh, good lord. Freezers are really expensive. I would quite like a freezer, but that's a bit too much money. What looks like fruit and veg? That looks kind of like a fruit and veg. So, all that. Oh, look. They're double side. Are they? So, you can get to it from either side. Ooh, how does that work? Does that go? Hang on. Oh, bugger it. Let's buy one and get on with it. Okay, spin it round. Okay. Oh, no, it's only one side. It's only one side still. Oh, that's a bit irritating. Okay, fine. Well, let's put them over here near the door, shall we? So I think the idea is we'll have some stuff as we come in. In fact, no, we're going to need some stuff across the middle, aren't we? Oh, that's really irritating. I wanted that to be... Oh, never mind. I wanted it to kind of be two sides to the same thing. Can we cancel that? I've not bought that, have I? No, okay, I've not bought it. I thought you could get to that from either side. You could get to that from either bloody side. That looks like you can get to it from either side. That looks like you can... It's got shelves on both sides. There we go. That's more what I was thinking of. So if I put it there... Yes, that's quite cool. Let's do that. Let's put that there. And that means that we've got stuff on both sides. Okay. So another little bit of storage. And then... Oh, no. Not that yet. That looks like it might do fruit. Hang on. Let's check. No, let's not go to that menu. Let's check apple acceptable shelves right so they can go in the long basket type thingies or the weird thing that i just had or the smaller baskets or weird enough the the fridge that's is that a big fridge or a freezer okay fine 
So they can go in, oh now do I buy, do I buy, it was one of those wasn't it, for a thousand, that's quite expensive isn't it, for a thousand dollars buy a fridge but then keep all the fruit and veg lasting longer, I think I might invest in a fridge, oh my god I can change the colours of the fridge, yes, hang on, monstrous, okay, let's spend a thousand on that then. Let's tuck that just there. Oh, I like that. That looks great. The queue in this shop is never going to be that bloody big, is it? It's never going to be that big. So can I just tuck that in the corner just there? For the fruit and veg. Or should we have that? Ah, oh, we could have it in this corner. Like this, look. We took that there. And then we've got space where people can stand there. There we go, look. So people can stand there and get fruit and veg, and they can stand there and get whatever it is they want to get out of these shelves here. Oh, this is this is tremendous. Right, fruit and veg. Fruit and vegetables. Here we go. So if they're in here. So apples looks like a good shout. One and a half months if they're frozen. Oh, yes, they can fit four in. Okay, you can just stick them outside if you like. Right, well, apples looks like a good bet. They'll stay there for a long, long time. What else do people eat a lot of? Kiwi, lemons, lemons aren't going to be very good. Potatoes, they're an absolute staple. Let's have some potatoes. Uh, strawberries, they're probably good if they're refrigerated. People will like strawberries. And what else? Tomatoes, yeah, okay. Tomatoes, an absolute random mix of stuff, predominantly fruit, and then just some potatoes just shoved in the corner. Uh, okay, let's get. Uh, let's get something on this on these shelves. Oh, for goodness sake. Escape does not clear you out of those menus. Okay, what can we put on those shelves? So on a rack, let's have a look at what can go on those shelves. Right, jam. Here we go. Let's put three types of jam down. Because there, well, there were three. Was it under condiments? There. Strawberry jam. Let's put jam on the top. Yeah, strawberry jam on the top. Strawberry jam is quite expensive. Okay, jam is really bloody expensive. Okay, maybe not jam. What else can we have that isn't jam? Because that is going to break the bank. Uh, coffee. God, that's bloody expensive as well. Corn beer. Oh my God, everything's really expensive. We haven't got any drink, have we? We haven't got any like water or anything. Bread might be quite good, actually. Let's stock up with some bread. Let's do that, look. People are always going to have bread. Bread is an absolute dietary staple. Uh, I want tins, tins of things ideally, like like tins of beans or tuna or whatever. Oh, peanut butter, yes, I like peanut butter. Peanut butter is one of my favourite things to eat. Let's put that on there. What else have we got? Rice, powder milk, pickle. That's quite cheap, yeah, and it lasts one and a half years. So let's have that, that's pretty good. We'll take that. Salt, instant rice, soap bar, oh, bloody hell, there it is. Oh my God, there, okay, soap bars are really expensive. Sugar, spam, there we go. A tinned meat product, good, we'll have that. And tuna, there we go, that's what I wanted. Stuff like that. Uh, on that shelf, please, like so. And what can go on here then? So on the other side of the bread, what do we want on the other side of the bread? Tissue box. Yeah, let's just tuck them at the bottom. And then what else can we have? Salt, salt and sugar. They're, they're, they're nice staple things, aren't they? Salt and sugar like that now i've got 745 dollars remaining it doesn't seem like i have a lot of stuff i don't i don't seem to have very much in the way of goods uh like i quite like another little fridge to put drinks in like a drinks fridge i might have to save up for a drinks fridge okay so i assume that it's now it's open so i can just press play and then see what happens does anyone come in do I have to trigger something or do people just turn up and walk through the doors I actually don't know how this works now right let's zoom out what else what else is around there's old Tradford I don't know what that is but it looks like a that's a shop of some sort oh premiing okay it's full of gibberishy stuff okay it's my toys. There's a real estate place, so we would call it an estate agent in the UK, but it's like a house selling thing and a coffee shop, which presumably is shut because the shutters are down. And then, and then I don't know what else is around. <gasps> There's a person in the shop. There's a person in the shop. They've bought something. Hello, person in shop. <gasps> oh, you're my first customer. Yay! I've had one customer. That's it. Right, we're done. 
Oh, we're finished. Goodbye, and uh, see you next time. Wow. Okay, what are these other buttons then? Item stats and stats and quick discount. Okay. Oh, look, you can discount things. So if I had a load of crisps that I know were going off, or if I had a load of vegetable oil that was going off, or yog yogurt. If I had a load of yogurt that was going off, I could discount it. Oh, that's good. Or do an event. Add an event. Hang on, did someone else just go in? <gasps> Yes, it's a guy with a green backpack. Look out for him. What's he just put in there? Oh my god, right. Bread sells really well. Bread goes very quickly, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, that's fine. Uh, advertisement. Okay. Advertisements can do stuff. Mail sent directly to you from your customers. Okay. So you get to pick how long you want to do adverts for? No, okay. I don't want to do that. That's a bit rubbish. Newspaper ads, online, magazines. Wom. Wom. What's wom? Word of mouth advertising. Warm. Hiring people to talk about your market in a public place? Is that a real thing? Warm? There's someone just sitting there very loudly in the middle of a cup of a, like a big busy coffee shop area going, I have heard of this great place. It is Penge Cafe. Uh, Penge Cafe. It is the Penge shop on the corner. I heard it sells great produce at very reasonable prices. Another one going around going, hey, I'm going to check out the Penge shop. That's a, that's a bit weird. Okay, how expensive is that? Oh my god! How much are you paying them? Are you paying like a town crier or something? Right, we're not going for that. Right, radio is probably probably the most influential that I can afford. Billboards are very expensive and telly I can't afford at all. That would be stupid. What about a magazine advert? Magazine ads can get quite expensive. What? Oh yeah, that is quite expensive for one week. Okay, a newspaper. Let's do two weeks. $170. Let's invest $170 for an advert for two weeks in the paper. And let's see if that brings anyone in. Because at the minute, it ain't looking very good. Not many people have been in. So let's just hurry time up, actually. Let's see if that helps. So now we're in the papers. Presumably that will start taking effect. Yes, here comes a guy. Here comes a guy wearing... Wearing... Hang on. He's got his arms out, but he's got gloves on. Okie doke, six dollars worth of goods. Hang on, you've got a bag. Five P charge, Sonny. Come back, you bloody environment killer. Okay, so now do I just sit and wait, or what? I don't. I don't really know. I don't know how to hurry things along any. Um, I assume that means it's to do with the day. This this sort of circle filling up is dictating how much of the day is left. So there's a bit of the day left. I don't know. Okay, well, no, no one's coming into the shop. There's someone coming into the shop. Hello, person. Have some stuff from the shop. There we go. Have that, $4 worth, lovely. I think we need some sort of fruit and veg. I think we need more than just that fruit and veg in the, in the chiller. I think we need something else. We need a rack of that type, $180 worth of that. Let's put that there, look. I think we need just more fruit and veg. I don't think there's enough of this to draw people in. Right, pumpkins last for two months. Let's stick them at the bottom. That's a good thing. Strawberries we've got, tomatoes we've got, watermelons, who cares? Pears, seven days. Pears can last. They're nice, we like pears. Uh, mangoes, onions, here we go. Like staple, like there we go, some veg. Oh my God, there's somebody else in. Oranges, lemons, limes, leeks, garlic. Five months. Yes, we'll stick them at the bottom. Does garlic really last five months on a shelf? Does it really? Well, you could have fooled me. Broccoli, the carrots, seven days out on the shelf. So let's get some carrots in. And then let's get another vegetable of some sort. What about a green pepper? Five days because they seem to seemingly last longer than the other ones for some reason. So yeah, okay, a green pepper like that. Oh my God, there's people in there. There's gonna be three people in the shop at the same time. Nine dollars, policeman, that's very good. And a lady in a hat. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good, That that is, this is working quite well. Now I just need more people. Okay, it's not working so well now, there's no one here. Okay, there's someone else coming around the corner. There's someone coming around the corner. Let's let's watch them. Let's have a look. Oh my god, it's Inspector Gadget. Hello, Inspector Gadget. You could just do it from there. Just go, go, Gadget Arms. He actually does look like Inspector Gadget. 
Yep, he's having some bread. He's gonna, he's gonna take some bread to the club. Oh, a bit of a Q fight. Oh, Gadget got there last. Gadget was beaten. Five pounds sixty-four. I didn't see what the lady who uh, Q jumped and bought though. Nobody's going for the milk, are they? Or the bloody bacon, which is really flipping expensive. Can you come and buy the bacon, please? I think some of the butter's got. Oh, ah, look. Oh, oh, splendid. It tells you. Okay, <laughs> yogurt. Sixteen yogurt. Okay, there's. I don't think anyone's bought anything, have they? Nobody's bought anything from that refrigerator unit. That's a bit irritating. Oh, look, 504 strawberries, 14 apples, 111 potatoes. Right, you've bought something from that side. What did you buy? Some rice or something? What, what was on there? Bread. No, not, th not that side, you spoons. The other side. What's all this stuff? Oh, there. Oh, right. Ah, uh, right. It had to twist round more. HT sugar, 35 salt, and 24 tissue boxes. Okay. Can we have some more people coming in, please? I feel like we need more people. Do I need more fruit? That's kind of veg. Maybe I need fruit. But we've got apples and stuff in the fridge here. We've got delicious apples, strawberries, tomatoes. Maybe we need more fruit. She's buying some ketchup. That's good. You've obviously got children, random lady. Okay. How about then we invest in another one of those? So yes, because they don't take any power either. So that's quite good. And also the queue, I don't think we'll ever go back that far. And then let's just put in some fruit then and some other bits and bobs. So uh, lemon and limes, I don't... Is that, Do people really go out and buy that many lemons? Peaches. They're nice. Yes. Put some peaches in. That's $20. Oh dear, we might run out of money at this rate if people don't bloody come in and buy some more stuff. Kiwis? Okay, let's buy some of those. And then and then we've got room for one more thing, I would say. Let's put in fresh corn. Oh, three days. That's, that doesn't last very long at all. Bananas. Yes, everyone loves bananas. Come on, there's some lovely fresh bananas there, my friend. They're for you. They're fresh in from wherever bananas grow. The banana factory. Okay. Medic coming in. I don't think you need your gown, your mask thing on, your face. Oh, God, buy some milk. Buy some milk. What are you buying? Yes, you did. You actually bought some milk. And you're having lots of tomatoes. This is good. That's very encouraging. Have more tomatoes. Oh, okay, that's quite a lot of tomatoes, but okie doke. Milk and some tomatoes. $6.50. Oh, there's a, that's lit up. Is that something to do with it? 16 pieces of bread has expired. Oh. Oh, my bread's all gone, because it's all gone out. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, bread has a very short life, obviously. Uh, others? It was bread under others? Where's bread? It was sort of near the bottom, was it? I forget. Oh, God, there's drink. I see, I need drink. I haven't got anything like water. People will come in and buy that, won't they? They'll buy some water. Okay. Bread. Oh, there we go. Popularity. It is popular. Let's put one lot of bread back. Three dollars. Let's just see how that does. See if that goes. There's no point filling the shelves up if people aren't going to buy it. Okay, six dollars, good. Right, let's speed time on, let's go quick. Let's hurry time along. Now I'm acutely aware that at the end of the month, we're gonna have to pay rent on the building, which was $800, and what was his wage? It's like 650, so we need $1,400 to, in order, uh, by the end of the month, so half a month, we need $1,400 to, to break even and come out of this Oh dear, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that is going to work at all. So is it time to go see the bank manager and see if we borrow some money, promote ourselves a bit and just get ourselves started? Because yeah, I could do with decking it out a bit better because we've got we've got some of that. We've got some of the fruit and veg and stuff. We've got a freezer with milk and, and bits and bobs. There's no cheese, I notice. A fire service guy. Oh yes, and he's even come in with his fire service hat on. I mean, I don't know why the building is not on fire. He's buying an awful lot of salt. That's very bad for you. Uh, but oh no, that's fine. Eight eight dollars seventy five is good. Another medical person. So I must be near because I've seen a police guy as well. So there must be a, a whole host of emergency services right nearby. There's obviously a hospital, a fire station, and some sort of police station right nearby. Or oh, a suited man. What is the suited man going to purchase? He is purchasing, what's that, lots of salt. Okie doke, right you are. Okay, right, let's speed time on. I'll wait to the 20th and just see what my money looks like at the end of the 20th. Oh man, it was a disaster. The milk has all gone. The milk has gone off. 
24 bottles of milk has expired. 504 pieces of strawberry has expired. Oh, they were probably really bloody expensive as well. Okay, right. Who was a lady in a very lovely frock? Hello, madam. I hope you get what you want. Um, yes, the milk I thought would go quicker. Okay, she's buying quite a lot of stuff though. She's doing like a full shop. Oh, yes. She's picking each individual, whatever one of those is up. Well, I can't remember what they are. What are they? What, what, did they, what are these? Kiwis or something. Okay, she's still buying. Oh, this is going to be a huge shop. Lady in the dress. I like you. Come on, show me how much you're buying. Bread and oil and condiments and bananas and pickle. $50 practically. Here comes a police guy. So he's, what's he picking up? Oh, he's bought, hang on. He's bought all of whatever those were. What were they, pears or something? Oh my God, right, he's having some tomatoes. That's good. Have lots of tomatoes, my friend. Have loads of them. That's going to be a massive shop, isn't it? Yes, come on. $30. Did he buy all of the bell peppers? There were loads in there. I would have expected a message up here. If it's telling me things have gone off, I would have expected it to go, right, actually, yes, it, it, the bell peppers have gone. Okay. Now, how, what else do I need to do? How long until stuff expires? So there's 13 Marge in there. Six yogurts, 34 ham, 16 butter. Nobody's buying the bloody butter though. Bacon, that's 24 bacon. That was really expensive. And the eggs and the ham. What do you people eat? Come on. Bread, ham, butter equals lunch sorted. I've got no crisps. Can I, are there crisps? Can I buy crisps? Snacks, cookies, jits. Are those little biscuit things? Fudge sicker. Oh, right, yes, I can't have those. Chris, barbecue chips. There we go. Or salt and vinegar chip. Sorry, yes, I meant chips, American viewers. Crisps in the UK, chips in America, whatever. You know what they are. Cheddar cheese, good, a nice new flavour. Uh, salt and garlic. Okay. Is that is that a, is that a flavour in America? American viewers, tell me if that's a normal flavour. I don't think I've ever had salt and garlic chips. I'm not averse to salt and garlic chips. I imagine they're really nice. I've just never seen them before. Right, barbecue. Let's get some barbecue crisps. Let's just put them there. Ten dollars. That's quite nice. And then there were some cookies. Yeah. Let's get some cookies as well because they last too much. Forty-five dollars to restock the bloody cookies. Good God. You're running out of stock of pumpkin. Consider restocking. Okay. Uh, do I? How do I restock all that stuff? Do I? What's? Oh, hang on. Restock all. Seventy-seven dollars. Okay. Well, there's there's room on there for the pumpkin at the top now. So pumpkin seems popular then, does it? Is pumpkin popular? It must be if they're running out. Let's pop them at the top. There we go. Oh, what's that? Running out of bread, consider restocking. Yes, 62 pieces of pear has expired. Oh, God. 101 pieces of carrot has expired. Oh, God. All the food is expiring. I guess that's it. Get the nice refrigerated stuff, madam. Right, and bread. Bread, bread, bread. Bread was condiments, was it? No, bread was others. Bread. Okay pop the bread back on there. There we go. We've got some bread. Yes, you're taking the crit. Oh my god, how many? You're having a party. It's a party at your place. You've got, you bought the bacon, you bought some ham. Oh, I love you. I love you, mysterious woman. Oh yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mysterious woman. Okay, she was good. I like her. She was a good customer. You. Oh, hang on. The, do <laughs> the doors don't open and close. Don't. <laughs> Why be inconvenienced by having to go through open doors when you can come through our new shut door technology okay by yourself oh, that wasn't very much come on we need more we need more people in we need a lot more people in what's that paint oh no don't tell me you can paint walls and the floor you can change the floor colors oh god so you can have it like as it is now presumably or bright red black she is a bit miserable isn't it that looks like marble nice wooden effect Kind of a white tiles or a weird, yeah, that's a bit weird. Okay, okay, let's just, let's just put a little bit in the corner, just see what it looks like. Oh, that looks quite nice. I like, oh, I like this. I like the fact you can do stuff with the walls. Oh, yes, okay, wall. What colors can we have the walls? Gaudy, kind of, kind of orange and green. We can have uh, geek cover colors. Yes, look, you could have a tile of that and that, say. And then, if you do that, you could have yellows. <laughs> yes, look, you could have geek cupboard walls. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, okay, we know what we're doing. I'll oh, forget restocking the food. I just want to paint the walls. Uh, I've run out of stock of yogurt and some bread has expired. Oh, I've run out of stock. Uh, hang on, I've run out of bacon? Have I? I thought, 
have I really? There's, there's like 16 bacon in there. What are you talking about? Um, I'm going to restock the Yogard though. Um, others? Is Yogard counting as an other? Uh, I don't know where it will be. Margarine's in there. Uh, yeah, you're good. There we go. Let's put that on that shelf. Okay. I'm surprised that that says that bacon is ringing out. Peach is expired. Banana is expired. I'm ringing out a stock of bread. Bloody hell. Just, just restock the bread, all right? Let's just restock all of that. $44 restocks the whole thing. Oh, goodness me. Click out of that. There we go. So that's restocked all the sugar and the rice and everything else. All that bump. Okay. So now I just sit and wait. For, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to wait to the end of the month. And hopefully we'll have some money. I'm going to see how much money we've got. I'll keep restocking some stuff. Like, I mean, what was on here? Like bananas. They were quite good. $207. Get off. I'll have no money left to do anything else. Fruit and veg. Bananas seemed popular. Bananas were at the top, weren't they? Popularity plus. Yes. Let's get some bananas. Let's put bananas in. They're always a good, a good draw for people. It told me about pumpkins. You're running out of pumpkins. So I bought some and there are loads of them left. You stupid thing. Okay, how long? There's loads of potatoes. There's not many apples. There's some tomatoes left. Everything else is looking okay. The oil is going down. The ketchup's being used. This is all right. This is all right. Right, are we going to have three people in the shop? Oh my God. Hang on. Are you two related? Have you even dressed the same? That's just weird. Are you pulling a con? <laughs> are you trying to con us? Is that it? Some sort of scam? The I've seen you before scam or something. Right, this guy's on a big spend. Oh my god, this guy's buying all the bacon and then some kiwi fruit. You're weird. Are the police guys in as well? Yes, how much are you going to spend on me? How much are you going to spend? Oh, this is a massive shop. Oh, I didn't even see how much it was because the police guy literally came in at the end and said, yeah, seven, seven dollars. Okay, what's that telling me? Bring out a stock of bacon. I'm not, am I? Thirteen I've got. That's plenty of bloody bacon. That's plenty of bacon. Someone's bought lots of mar margarine and it says no, no yogurt, even though there is clearly yogurt in there. Oh, the bacon is all gone. You're entirely correct. I have sold out of bacon. Okay, uh, did bacon come under others? I think it did. Right, where's bacon? Bacon, bacon, bacon. Oh, there's pasta there. I could put some pasta on the shelves. Bacon, come on, show yourself. Show yourself delicious bacon. The only thing is, it's really expensive, isn't it? Oh, popularity, minor. So we don't want that. We don't want it if it's not popular. I'm not going to bloody put that on. Oh, no. What happened to all the tomatoes? The tomatoes have gone. The th oh, the 13 boxes of bacon have expired. And the ham has expired. Oh, God. Okay, this is, re this is a surprisingly hard game. It's a surprisingly hard game to try and maintain the balance. I suspect I might need to visit the bank manager. How much do they charge in the bank? If I took out a, I don't want to take out a, a, a massive, <laughs> I was like, 200, I'd pay back 37,000. No, oh no, I don't need that. If I took out a small loan, I don't even know if I'd need that. I'd need an extra small loan, I think. 10,000 would help me set up the entire shop with all the coolers and things, would it? Or maybe I'd need 30 grand for that. But every month I'd have to pay back five and a half grand. So I'd need to keep at least 11 grand behind just in case it didn't work. And then I'd have to advertise the crap out of the place. But I think it might work. Run out of stock of bread. Oh God. Okay, fine. Let me restock the bread. I can't click on anything. Restock that. Yes, good. $20 to restock the bread. Beautiful. Okay, there's apples and potatoes in there. Fire guy, what are you buying? Please buy buy those pumpkins at the bottom, you sod. You stupid man. Oh, bloody hell. Right, there's plenty of eggs. I would like a little thing here telling me how long it takes to go off. A little thing in brackets saying, you know, four. And I think, ah, oh, it's going off in four days. Or two or zero or something. You think, oh, crap, they're going off now. You're buying potatoes. Oh, there's lots of people in the shop. Three dollars something. Four dollars eighty. Beautiful. Oh, what's gone now? Stock of yogurt again. I'm running out of yogurts. Okay, let's get some yogurt. Uh, it'd be good if we could have like, refri ah, of course you can. Fridge, there we go. I can do that. Uh, where's yogurt? Oh God, it makes, you know what? It makes my eyes go a little bit funny scrolling through all this. I have to sort of squint. Oh, yogurt's right at the bloody bottom. Well, of course it is. Okay, let's restock the yogurts like that. There we go. I don't know if that cost us anything or not. I actually don't know, but there we go. The yogurt is in place. This is good. You're buying things. Man in a beanie hat. $12. Thank you, beanie hat. 
Here comes a lady. What's she going to buy? She's getting herself some salt, was that? A police guy. The police guy's come back. He's buying himself some condiments, some sauces and things, some mustard. $9.50. Thank you very much. Okay. I assume, I don't know how many days are in July. Is it 30 or 31? I don't know. I'm going to guess that I'm not going to have enough to pay my rent by the end of this particular month. Because I've got $504 now. So unless these people spend $50 each, unless everybody just spends an absolute bloody fortune, I'm going to struggle. Stock of margarine and stock of apples. Okay, but hang on, hang on, hang on. Normal time, normal time. Let's restock the apples, because the apples are seemingly a good thing to have. Yes, popularity, good. Right, apples restocked. What else are we running out of? Mm, egg. We're running out of egg? Am I? Am I really? Are people having the eggs at last? Nine eggs. Three margarine, though. Okay, fridge. Where's Marge? Margarine. Uh, yep, okay. Where is it? I can see lots of other things. Eggs and cream cheese and butter. It's going to be at the very top. Is it? Oh, I've missed it. Ah, oh, there needs to be a slightly better search thing for this, I think, because I'm scrolling up and down. I can't see margarine. There it is. Margarine. Let's replenish that on the shelves as well. There we go. Okay, so that's replenished the margarine stock. What's this telling me? I'm running out of bread. Oh, I ran out of... Oh, good Lord. Ran out of bread. Need bread. Where is bread? Bread was under others. Bread was near the top, was it? Yes. Okay, more bread on the top shelf there. Okay, what I'm going to do is, my plan is, get to the end of the month, see what damage we are left with, because I don't think we're going to have enough. We're not going to be able to pay our rent or the electric bill, I assume you have to pay, because otherwise, why does it tell you about electric? And this guy's wage. So we're going to go into the red. So it depends by how much, how many days are in July. Is it 30 or 31? I don't know. I don't know how many days are in July, but we shall wait and see very shortly. Oh, this doesn't help. There's no one in the bloody market. Come on, come and buy some stuff. I need lots of you. Buy more stuff, please. Anyone? It, I mean, it's good stuff. It's really good. So that bread, whoo wee, you should, oh, you should try that bread. That is some amazing bread right there. What items have we got? Hang on, isn't there a little, is that thing showing me popular things? Margarine and butter's popular. Eggs are popular. Okay, apples, potatoes, strawberries, not popular. Tomatoes are popular. Okay, tomatoes seem popular. Let's get some tomatoes, fruit and veg. That's apples and stuff. Where are the tomatoes? Probably at the bloody bottom. Uh, yes, they are at the bottom. Right, tomatoes. Let's put some tomatoes back here, look. Uh, $50 for all those tomatoes. Wowee, that was quite expensive. But he's bought some, so he's bought bananas. He's bought about $10 worth of stuff. This is good. You. Are you a kid? Are you a kid? Are you allowed out? Okay, you're buying lots of stuff. It's fine. You're allowed. You're allowed in. Have whatever you want. Here's your mug. It's fine. She's caught you looking at the top shelf stuff. Oh, no, the milk's gone, hasn't it? Of course, the top shelf of milk. Right. What are you going to spend? Eight twenty, and you're going to... Oh, this is quite good. $29. Yes, I'm running out of stock of pumpkin. Have I ran out? Oh, nearly. I've nearly run out of pumpkin. How much did restock that whole shelf? $248. What about that one? $268. Oh, good. And this one? $144. Oh, my goodness me. How about we just get pumpkin? And we just sort of restock that. There we go. That makes a little bit more sense. Uh, kiwi is expired. I'm running out of egg. Oh, goodness me. Uh, oh, I've run out of egg, I think. If I, oh, no, the eggs are tucked right at the back, just there. The eggs are properly wedged at the back. Can I move these things once they're in? Like, if I wanted to move that, can I? Ah, yes, move. Okay, or duplicate. Okay. But yes, I can move that if I so wish. Okay, that's good. Because I may want to put another fridge there and put like drinks and things in it if I can. But yes, I'm gonna to wait to the end of the month. While I do that then, fridges. Now I think, I think that looks like a drinks fridge. That looks like a fridge with the front on, like that, for all your milk and your cheese and stuff. That looks like a drinks fridge. I would say that's more for your drinks that you would pick up and go, because there's no front, so you just grab it quick and leave. Well, I think that's what that is. Right, okay. We're going to speed time on to the end of the month and see how badly we are going to be in debt. And then we may need to take a trip to the bank to speak to the bank manager. However, you are buying lots of stuff, and that's quite encouraging. At least give us some money. Bread and mustard. $17.50. That's not appalling. 
Okay, running out of stock of bread. Oh, good lord. Right, hang on. The end of the month. Oh, okay, right. I'm quite poor. Minus 582. So rent payment of $645 has been paid. Really? I thought it was more than that. I thought it wasn't 645. I thought it was 800. Okay, fine. Yes, that's good. Monthly electricity cost of $49 and cashier's salary of $482. He wasn't that either, wasn't he? 600 or something. Oh, maybe... Did we start midway through the month? Does it start on today? So it hasn't charged us for those. It's done it kind of pro rata. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. I don't think this is a viable thing at the moment. We might need to take a trip to the bank. So... I think we can eliminate any of these. These bottom three loans are stupid. Even the medium loan is stupid because we'd have to pay back 13,750 a month. And given that we're struggling to make 1,000, I think that's slightly unrealistic. A small loan might be useful. Can we spread it out over, over some time? So we spend less every month. Oh God, you can spread it out over lots and lots and lots of months. 36 months. So you'd pay a 15% interest rate, so you'd pay back an extra four and a half grand, but over 36 months, so you'd pay back less than a grand a month. Or this one, if you want to borrow 10 grand, let's let's see that how far that goes. 30 of uh, 24 months. So you can take out a small loan, X small loan, 10 grand over two years and pay back just an extra 500 a month. I think we might do that, you know. I think that's what we're gonna do. So we are gonna take out an extra small loan, confirm that, yeah, I think that's what we do. Uh, I don't want to confirm that though, I don't want that one. If I press confirm, I'm confirming the extra small loan. It'll give us 10 grand, and then they're not too bad in terms of payments each month, that's fine. So yeah, let's borrow that, and then this should, what's that do? What's the wibbly like? Oh, okay, that's just my financial report thing I'm a bob. So yeah, let's do this. I think this is required. We're not making enough money. We need more stuff in this shop. We need more shelves and we need more stuff. We need a drinks cabinet. We need to put rice and stuff on the shelves. We need more, literally physically more things in, in the shop. So let's confirm the X small loan. Okay, good. Hooray, we've got some money, everybody. Woo. And immediately I'll just decorate the walls and the floor and then leave the shop in an absolute bloody state. So, okay, I'm quite enjoying this. I like this. I need it to be a bit more organized, however. I need things to be a little bit more organized because at the minute, like this is bread with cookies and, and stuff like that. And I don't really like this bread and cookies and crisps. This is a snack bit, but the bread's at the top. That's fine. I don't mind so much mind that. But then yes, these need to move. The fruit and veg baskets could move somewhere in the middle or wherever. So there's a little bit of reorganization to do. And we need to buy some more things. We need to buy more coolers and chillers and things to put these things in. We definitely need some more space to put more goods oh what was on the top there was that oil oh the oil has gone okay that's fun there's still some oil at the bottom i don't think that's an issue at the moment so yeah i think we, that's what we do next time out we just carry on this is this is very enjoyable i like this i can see this being this being very good uh and yes it depends on the on the, how we get on if we get on okay Maybe we'll upgrade to a big supermarket. I don't see that happening in the next part or two because we're still going to pay back our bloody loan. So we need this place to be heaving. But if I stock it out with enough stuff, enough different stuff as well, and then I can promote it, I can maybe stick an advert or whatever. I could do it on the radio for there. Look, for two weeks on the radio, that'd be pretty good. And maybe do a week of billboard. So yeah, really invest in getting people in. That might be quite a good plan as well to just get people in the shop to buy all of the stuff. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do, but we're definitely going to come back to this because this, this is quite fun and it ticks, ticks all the right boxes for a tycoon game. So yeah, we'll come back to my little shop. The only, the only sad thing is I haven't been getting to give it a name. I would have called it the, the Penge Mart, the Penji Mart, but alas, there is no option to name your shop unless there is and I just haven't found it yet, but never mind. So for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. And I'm back in the lockup again. I can break out this time though. Ha ha! Don't have that, you buggers. This game is very hard. And it doesn't care that it kicks you in the face every now and then. Is there a difference between a gremlin and a goblin? I don't know. Maybe one's got a bigger chin and one's got bigger noses or ear size or something. I don't know. Whatever. These fellas.